All right, Kella, uh, we got a bunch of stuff to go over. Okay, here's the question. Why is it that this is, okay, this is 9.0 alkaline water. I can't drink more than one and a half of these things without my nose bleeding or throwing up. Well, not throwing up, just not being able to consume more than one and a half of these. And this is the real alkaline from the natural source. But when I go to Chuck's and get the 10.0 from the pump in the sink, I can drink like five months worth of this consecutively and nothing happens. But when I drink the alkaline water from the natural source, I can only drink like one and a half consecutively. What's up with that? And by the way, this right here is just the Culligan water. It, this is not alkaline. Anyway, <clears throat> get down to business. Um, I usually wake up at 4 a.m. every day and for the longest time I would just take melatonin to go right back to bed, but now I've been meditating because it's like the perfect opportunity since everything is still. So last night I see a draconian show up and it's got like a laser shooting out of its head at me. I have no idea what it's doing. But Lorian, the sea turtle, the fallen angel sea turtle, said that there's a faction out there that's trying to change my chromosome structure to 47,000 XXY, which I have no idea what that means, but it sounds good. And that means, according to Lorian, that I won't be able to go back to my home world and claim my rightful place as the one. <laughs> okay, moving right along. About seven videos back, 13 Sign Astrology said that there would be no more formal initiations. So that means that people like JSX will come out of the closet at the right time and start making YouTube videos. 13 Sign Astrology said that everything would be He said that there would be no more formal initiations and everything would be done by subliminal alien suggestion, which is what I'm talking about, how when the time is right, the aliens will send the next half-assed disclosure person along to inform you of something. In this case of J. Essex, he was there to initiate you into the source energy mysteries about how the original motherfucker was 27.5% negative. And by the way, I have a negative soul, which has to, a lot to do with the next order of business. So I don't eat red meat, right? So today I finally eat some red meat after 
a bunch of prodding by the queen of all ascending reptilians. And so I get the grass fed ground beef at fresh market, one third pound, put it in a toaster oven, 10 minutes on each side, and I could feel. I could feel it restore my aura and my brain and I could feel it restore my everything and I achieved full rigidity you know what I mean by full rigidity penis so for those that don't know, one of the goals in life is to, one of the biggest goals in life is to merge your conscious mind with your unconscious mind. The computer separated the two. For example, you know how sometimes you wake up in the demon world and the demons are walking around you, taunting you, and nothing they are doing is very scary. It's just that your subconscious mind is petrified. That this is why you want to merge the two together because your conscious mind knows that there's nothing to be afraid of, but your subconscious is petrified. This is why you have to merge them together and activate your super consciousness, which is activating your Merkaba. Both sides of the, both hemispheres of the brain are operating equally when you're operating equally out of both hemispheres of the brain. When Jay Essex said that Martin Luther King was the first tan Adam, I totally picked up on that because he looks Hispanic when you really look at him he's not like a black man he's like a brown man he's just a brown man that was born from a black woman's uterus and it makes so much sense What an agent he was. I mean, he looks like Ricky Ricardo to me. As soon as Jessica said that, I was like, "Yeah, I can totally see that." He wasn't even a he wasn't even a black man. He was Ricky Ricardo. My friend in Bulgaria had the same vision of me that I did, which was he saw me with short hair. And it was like the 70s version of me, wearing 70s clothes, smoking cigarettes. I did not see myself smoking cigarettes, but I saw myself with short hair, wearing 70s clothes, which really confused me because I didn't know whether I was seeing a past life or the future, but apparently if it is the future, then I'm on some sort of remake of that 70s show, or maybe it's a movie, who knows, but it just, maybe I'm going back in time to, maybe I'm going to go back in time to make a TV show that's famous and just go to the future and reap the benefits. If you remember correctly, Pita went back in time and invested a hundred thousand dollars in Apple computer and came back with seven million. I wonder if he needed a uh, a fake ID for that. Maybe Lorian can tell us if he needed whether Fred needed a fake ID for that or not. Another question you may have is why am I always wearing a white T-shirt? It's because my aura is sensitive. If I wear black or anything else other than white, it brings me down. Aura is very sensitive.
Kimberly Bunch is not human. She has spoken of Nova. She told me, well, she made a video about the same thing that Fred told me, which was everyone will eventually get out of the third dimension. Right now, you have the opportunity to get out on your own terms. However, when the Nova happens, all, all souls must leave. And Kimberly Bunch said this, and Fred said this, and for those that don't know, Fred is Ptah, the ancient Egyptian god of truth and wisdom and the 359th Freemasonic degree. He's a reptilian alien. He's a jinn. And so Kimberly Bunch is a jinn too. She's a incarnated angel. So you see, it's a euphemism. There are no more demons. There are no more Nagat serpents. There are no more beast people. There's nothing but incarnated angels. It's kind of like how they call shell shock post-traumatic stress disorder. That was one of George Carlin's favorite thing to do was to blast those euphemisms. So remember, on a long enough timeline, when they blow up the world, when they blow up this earth, all souls will be forced to leave and you'll go back to your home planet. That comes from a very good source. Kimberly Bunch and Pita. I guarantee it. Now what am I going to do about these draconians shooting laser beams at me at night? <laughs>